Can we do that? Yeah. Good stuff. Home of the Liberty Bell, the cheese steak, and so much more. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is the site for this NFC versus AFC matchup between the Broncos and the Eagles. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. Signals right away. Fair catch. Cooper's lined up in the slot. First and ten. Running to the left side. Number seven on the line. That's second down coming up. They hand it off to the running back. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense got to be happy with that. First and ten. He's got room. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. Second down here after that run play. Screen in completion on that hurry throw. Well, the defense has got to be happy about this situation. Anytime early in the game you get an offense in third and long, you are looking to make a play and get things rolling on your side. The receiver in the slot. Pitches it back. Escapes the hit. A tackle that had to be made. And that'll set up fourth down. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Eagles in the pistol. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. That ball is going the other way. Most NFL linebackers, their borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a flying catch on the interception by the linebacker. Oh. 
it's a dime look for the defense on this play. First and ten to the ground here. The outside linebacker that time just did his job very well and gets in there and makes the tackle for very little gain. Peyton Manning under center. Here it's a second and ten. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And the quarterback is taken down. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. Moreno's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. That pass was hurried. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The punter awaits the snap. Their catch signal. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First down and 10. And he's going to run it right. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. The Eagles come out in the pistol. The wide receiver in motion. Second down and two. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Well, they call you an outside linebacker for a reason. That means you play outside and you stop the wide runs by the offense, and he did it that time. Good job. Makes the tackle. Third and two. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. The Eagles lined up in the pistol. That's going to be a timeout charge to the offense. Broncos come out in the nickel. And he's going to pitch it here. And he's got the first down. What was the defense doing that time on that fourth down try by the offense? Disorganized, not ready, and they give it up. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and ten. They've got him behind a line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second and twelve. McCoy. Taking off. Touchdown. Philadelphia Eagles. To me, still one of the most exciting plays in NFL football. A long running play for a touchdown. And how about that when it had it all in its speed? Good moves, good blocks. Exciting touchdown. And 
and the extra point, the kick is good. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Manning sells the play fake and looks downfield. Second down following that incompletion. Setting up screen. Catch is made. Makes a move and he's free. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Going to get set in the slot for this snap. On the spot. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing lead, so we all know that. So you got to be. That's an interception. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Pistol formation. First and ten. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. And that will close out the first quarter in Philadelphia. We'll return in just a moment. The Eagles' offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. Setting up in the pistol on this play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. They break through, tackle them behind the line. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Could have been intercepted. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Offense lines up here. Vick in shotgun formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. Well, you got to live with this decision now, big guy. You go for it on fourth and long. It fails. Probably going to give up some points because of a bad decision by you. The defense comes out of the dime. Now first and ten. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Right 
They come out in the dime package. Second and long. He'll fire it out to the left. Peyton connects with Jacob Tammy. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. Roughing the passer call gives the offense 15 yards and a new set of downs. Yeah, and it was a, it was a terrible roughing the passer that time. He absolutely reset, took reset, two reset. steps before he hit the quarterback. You can see when he lets the ball go. When you see him let it go, pull up. Will go ground. Good job that time by the old line. How about that? Nice blocks, and they got a nice little run there inside the red zone. 96 minutes. This will be second down. Moreno's got it on the handoff. Outside runs take time. And when you run outside, you expect the safety to get up there with that extra time and make the tackle. Good job that time by the safety. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Third and goal from the five. Screen pass. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Chip shot here. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. This is a big-time return. Well, a lot of good things happen on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. Wide receivers are bunched up. The running back goes in motion. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Casey's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. Cooper in the slot. Vick dropping back to pass once again. Zeroed in on that one. Now there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. Cooper's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and 10, running it like it's an option play. The tackle is made. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short gain in the red zone. Two-minute warning. Man, man, man. Offense lines up here. Wait 20, wait 20. Second and nine. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. Dances it out to about the nine. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Now, looking at third down. The pass is intercepted. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time, the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play, and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. Play action. Peyton Manning looking down the field almost intercepted well for some reason this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover too that's not the spot you want to go you want to look underneath or right down the middle 96 minutes, 96 minutes. second down into the open flag in on the stop good job by the play caller that time calling for the short pass even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, and he's intercepted. He stacked up at that point. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're 
strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch. The Eagles will approach this play from out of the pistol. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. The Eagles line up in the pistol offense. Second and nine. That'll stop the play right there. Lined up in the pistol formation. McCoy is going to secure the handoff. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. No game on the one. The Eagles getting set for the field goal try. Oh, it's a fake. Eyeing that left side. Well, that's four plays and out for the offense, and that was bad. Bad play calling, bad play, bad execution. Go to the bench and try to rethink what you're doing. Moreno's shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Going for the home run. Oh, almost caught. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. That leads us to second down. That reception picks up the first down. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. To the 25. You got to catch the defense in the right scheme to throw wide receiver screens. Good timing by the play call by the offensive coordinator, and they pick up some valuable yards. Let's see how they back up the big play here. He'll fire it out to the left. Makes the catch. Touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And, hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. No returns. The ball's coming out to the 20. Offense lines up here. First and 10. Running a little college-like option. He's got a wide open alley. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Going to lose yards here. The Eagles call a timeout and are left now with only one. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. Third and four. Wide to the left. Spins away from the hit. So that's going to do it for the first half. Broncos are up in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Broncos lead by three. Let's quickly go to Danielle Bellini. She has an update. I caught up with Coach Fox during halftime, and it has been a sloppy game so far, guys. Both teams have turned the ball over multiple times. Talking with Coach, he told me his offense is going to have to stop turning the ball over. The turnovers have been careless, and he believes if they can hold onto the ball, they'll have a really good shot at winning this game. 
Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Looking to the right side and throwing. Lucky that did not get picked off. Double coverage. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shock. The football was incomplete. Moreno's lined up as the single back. Second and ten. Manning still got the football after the play fake. Oh, nice job. That quarterback, he was watching the quarterback. He's all over the receiver, so it was easy for him to knock the throw down. out in the slot third and ten and intercepted he's brought to a halt well nowadays your linebackers they got to be able to do everything they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception good job by the linebacker first down here McCoy is taking the handoff left side Touchdown. Now you know why running backs get drafted high. Because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about. Making big plays, and when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. Count it. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Ace, ace, ace. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. As they go ground here. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. The Broncos come out. Jumbo package on the field. Play fake here. Throws to the right. Hauls it in for the first down. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Play action. Going deep. Looking for Demarius Thomas. Has the catch. Fight. Touchdown! I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. The Broncos with an extra point try on the way. Makes the PAT. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. The returner opts for the touchback, and the offense will begin at the 20. On first down, here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Six off the tackle. They bring him to the turf. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Oh, 
yards, second down and eight. The throw to the left. Cooper's got the cool hands. If you want to pass it, had a lot of heat. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. This play set up by the long gainer. Vick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. The ball is out, and it's a takeaway. That brings the play to an end. The defense comes up with the big play, the hit, and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. First and ten, play action fake. Manning uncorks a long pass. He's in the end zone, touchdown. You want to make your coach happy? Have the lead and have your offense just keep pushing the football down the field and score and increase that lead. The Broncos now will tack on the extra point. The point after try is in the books. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield, searching for space to the right. On his way. He's at the 50. Gets past the first wave. The 30, the 20, the 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. How about the blocking up front? Let's the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive, he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. out about 40 percent of the time if you look back on his we talk about momentum that turns into an eight point trip the touchdown and the two this offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator they're all aggressive so hey well it's not good enough just to get a touchdown they want to get that extra point or two points nice job that time down as they head to the line trying to get it outside before the defense is set that's what you want to do get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game good job by the offense managing things so far here today New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Balls got it again. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Second and goal from the five. Reaches out and snatches it. Six in the books. The Broncos for the point after. It's good. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. Slips past one player. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Hey, 
First down, offense ready for the snap. And he'll try it left. He's in the clear, a foot race to the end zone. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. McCoy's in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. That reception gave them the first down. Looking to scramble. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with an Eagles official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Nickel formation here for the defense. Brown's got the handoff on the counter. Touchdown! Brains are a big part of playing in the NFL. Good job by the running back making the right decision. Follows the blockers and walks into the end zone for the touchdown. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Pitches it back, and they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. before he's taken down. First down on the way. Quarterback drops back, play action. Holy, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Secures it with two hands. That was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. Lined up in the slot, looking for an open receiver on the right. Spins out of the tackle. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Broncos official. Peyton Manning's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. Yes, he'll be sore tomorrow, guys, but that's not going to stop him from returning today. Moreno's a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Throwing now to his left. Intercepted! Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Vic will be under center. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and catch. First down here after the completion. And he's going to pitch it here. He steps out. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't. And that's why he was tackled. Second down coming up. The give to the running back. Breaks free. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a major injury, and 
I just, well, I hope the best. First and goal. To the right side. Shakes off the tackle. And he'll step out of bounds. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Second down here. The final quarter begins with what a catch. Touchdown. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window. Very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it. Fired it. Got the touchdown. The Eagles for the extra point. No, it's not. It's a fake. Could have taken the one-point gimme. They went for the two, and they are turned away. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. He will run this one back. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. Offense lines up here, first and 10. They're setting up screen, going to be a tackle for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. Thomas there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And that'll be a gain of about two. Running it, it's second down. This is a screen play all the way. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. Moreno's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. That catch will extend the drive. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. I don't even want to speculate what the injury is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching the player, he's in a lot of pain, and I hope it's not serious. Here's the first snap after the big play. Greens, and he's in for the touchdown. The fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football, but down near the goal line, they serve a good purpose. Quick hitting plays by a big, powerful guy gets it done. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. McCoy's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. He's going to be tackled right around the 49. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The defense gets the sack. This defense is awesome in blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They timed the step count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. Fix looking long. Able to get a step on the defender and he makes in the promised land. Touchdown.
What a nice job by the receiver. There's the long throw down the field. He runs, he looks it in, makes the catch, and scores. for the two-point conversion. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they fail to get the two. Uh, Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to haunt them. They're setting up the return. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Toss to the outside. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. Moreno's shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Caught. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. Reset it, reset, reset. The quarterback realizes time is a factor. They need to put some points on the board. This one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Show me a team that can pick up the quarterback sneaks on fourth and short, and I'll, I'll show you a team that has a good center and two good guards. They get a good push inside, and the quarterback is able to get the first down. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go, and they stopped him for a short game. Moreno's in the backfield. Single back set. Second and eight. Manning's turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. Oh, there's nothing like a play action pass when the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run. The linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. Broncos coming to the line still have all three of their timeouts here in the fourth quarter the Eagles signal for a timeout they have two remaining it's now second down quarterback tosses it to the outside and the defense will use one of its timeouts right here well, this defense all over that play. They tackle the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third long. Advantage goes to the defense. Ace, ace, ace. Moreno's out in the slot. Third and 11. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The tackle is made, but the first down is picked up. It's late in the fourth quarter. you got a close game. It's third and 10 plus. What a play call that time by the offensive coordinator. And a nice throw by the quarterback, and they pick up a big first down.
They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They give it to the running back. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Marching down the field and taking their time. The Broncos call a timeout. They're first. The kicker now with a chance to decide this game. Flag is out. And the kick is good for three. Offside. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. 